name is William Patelis. I'm the Deputy Chief of the Catlin Volunteer Fire Department. I've been a member here for 11 years. Catlin is located inside of Prince George's County, which is a community located just outside of Washington, D.C. Kentland is one of the busiest volunteer fire departments, if not the busiest in the United States. So we rely heavily on our alerts here. In 2017, we uh, switched our alert system over to APS. We were very limited to what our alerts were able to do. So we wanted to be able to keep what we had and build forward in the future. I'm Troy Hipsley. I'm the project manager for PG County with APS. At Kentland Station, they have our IP controller, a fast server, display screens, multicolored lights, and ramped audio with customizable alert tones. The advantages to having customizable alert tones is that the members, no matter what they're doing in the station, can hear a distinct audio sound and know what specific piece is due for the emergency response. We have it broken down to every specific incident. It helps us get out the door. We have the traffic light set up, so as soon as we get on the roadway, we have the right of way, we don't have to wait for vehicles coming. It's one less step we have to take, it makes it a lot safer. So when we switched over to APS, we were standardly using the sign boards that you see around the firehouse right now. We're able to still keep those up and running, but one of the big things uh, APS offered was a TV. In years we've learned, man, we get a lot more information from the TV, it's providing us notes right away on the call. It's providing us cross streets, which is important, helping us narrow in where we're going, especially when you have so many streets that carry the same name and different hundred blocks. My name is Jack C. I've been a uh, fireman here for about a year and a half, a little over now. The TV is really helpful, especially because we start on the specials. So usually when I ride in the seat, I'm in the tower or the rescue engine. And we didn't have a signboard over here. And now we have a actual TV that displays the address on the cross streets, which are really helpful for understanding directions. With our most recent update through APS, we added ourselves onto the app. One of the big things we get out of it is we get notifications for our calls. As soon as our alerts go off, we're getting the alerts on the phone. Whenever we get a CAD update, you know, APS already has that information. I strongly recommend the APS system to other agencies because of how easy it is. Just being able to know exactly where we're going and what we're going to before we step foot on the apparatus is huge for our response.